Jersey Sports Zone's coverage of the NJSIAA state playoffs is made possible by Quick Check. Peter Delaportis, a sophomore quarterback who's a D1 prospect looking to lead Pope John to an upset at Modern Day Prep. The Seraphs and Notre Dame commit Clarence Lewis hungry for a rematch with RBC next week if they can take care of business. It was a special game for Seraph senior running back Malik Ingram. So quick on his feet, Ingram runs it all the way down to the one yard line and it is Ingram who cashes in from short range. Modern Day Prep on the board, we've got a 7-0 game. The Seraphs defense has a lot of high-profile talent. Dom Judice, a junior who's going to pile up offers this summer. A quarterback sack here. Judice spent a lot of time in the backfield. But give credit to Pope John. The Lions were competing. Alex Brown's pass picked off by Billy Gould. Gould steps up with a big play. And Pope John is able to cash in on the turnover. Della Portis has a cannon for an arm. Jarrell Robinson's got it. He's gone. 75 yards, and Pope John is drawn even. We're knotted up at seven. Modern day response immediately. Malik Ingram is the perfect combo of strength and speed. This would be the speed portion. Ingram 61 yards to the zone. Malik Ingram gives modern day a 14-7 lead. Second quarter. Brown looking left, throws right. Lewis has got it, and look at him switch fields. Clarence Lewis runs about 100 yards for this 45-yard touchdown. Lewis makes it a 21-7 game. Pope John hanging around in the first half. Tyler Rusher has daylight. He finds the hole and sprints to the paint. A 25-yard touchdown run makes it a 21-14 ball game but there was no stopping Malik Ingram. Great hole opened up by the O-line, and when he gets to that second level, so dangerous, coming right at you. Malik Ingram, 30 yards. The Seraphs go back up by two scores. It's 28 to 14. Notre Dame's going to have Clarence Lewis as part of their secondary. He's been such a two-way threat in his high school career. Here's a reminder of how good he is on the defensive side of the ball. Lewis with the pick, and at the half, modern day prep in control, up 14. Third quarter, it was a steady diet of Malik Ingram. Here is another vintage Ingram run. We count up seven guys getting a hand on him before finally being hauled down. And get this, it's a 10-play, 80-yard drive, nine runs, 79 yards from Ingram. Touchdown number four for the game. That is a workhorse. Ingram makes it 35-14. And the Seraphs really pour it on in the third quarter. Brown now goes option. The pitch to Kyrie Drake. And get ready to see some pure speed. Drake puts on the afterburners. 82 yards. Wow. That makes it 42-14. And Malik Ingram ended his day with one more unbelievable run. He played a little less than three quarters. This gallop gets him over the 300-yard mark. Are you kidding me? Simply sensational. He's got offers from Army and Navy, and you can see why those two great programs covet him. And the exclamation point comes courtesy of Isaiah Noguera. The nine-yard touchdown run starts the running clock, and now Modern Day can get ready for a rematch next week. 49 to 14 is your final. Modern Day will face Red Bank Catholic next week with a spot in the state championship on the line. Last year, the Casey's topped the Sarah's 14-10 at MetLife Stadium. This time around, Count Basie Field and Red Bank will decide who's heading to the finals. Ingram with 302 yards on the ground. He averaged 15.1 yards per carry in his final home game. In Middletown, I'm Rich Crampanis for JerseySportsZone.com.